Okay, so we're on a reconnaissance mission to rescue a hermit crab from PetSmart. I was at PetSmart a couple of days ago, and they showed me a hermit crab they had in the back that won't change shells. They said it was sick. I think he's really just stressed because the conditions are really bad in those kinds of stores. So I just called them. They said he's still there. They said they'd give me a discount if I came and got him. So I'm going to get dressed, and we're going to go to PetSmart and see what we can do about it. Okay, so I'm just now in, I'm in the car. And we're going to be heading to PetSmart in just a moment. So, just to go over this crab is too big for the shell he's in from last I saw. Uh, I don't know if he's male or female. I will gender him when I get a hold of him. He's in bad conditions because the pet stores, especially the chain ones, don't know how to really properly house from a crab. And it's really difficult to change how they're housed because of the bureaucracy of the system. So, um... And the people there know, I've talked to them before, they're very nice, the workers are very nice, they just, they actually can't do anything. So, I'm getting ready to go, and I'm bringing with me a carrying case, and I have inside of it a paper towel with a little bit of salt water, so he can breathe, and a walnut, because he's probably very hungry. And uh, we are on our way to go pick up this crab. Our reconnaissance mission was success. We saved the crab, actually. So when I was here on, on Sunday, um, I told them how to change his environment so he would change shells. And they did. And they put him in a glass tank and everything. There was enough heat. And he did change shells. Look, he's so beautiful. Here. I will. So he's not in too small of a shell anymore, which is nice. So you can see he's in there. Little guy. Now he won't come out. That's one of the things. Um, I sprayed him down. He won't come out. You can see his claws wide open. So I'm gonna leave him be in there. So he'll stay warm and moist. And we'll drive him home. I'll set up the tank. I bought a new heater. So his tank has a nice new heater. They gave me this crab for free. Which is awesome. Thank you, PetSmart. And, um... So we're going to set him up and I'm going to have him in a two and a half gallon and um, hopefully they also gave him better food. They listened. I'm so proud they gave him like the freeze dried shrimp and all this. Like they listened. It's great. So I'm going to set them up and I'll videotape that too. So we'll see that later. Okay, we just got home with a uh, new crab and I put him over here. He's in this container. Chillin', not really coming out of his shell. Put him to the side, maybe he'll come out and eat that walnut a little bit. I'm going to be putting him in this two and a half gallon tank. Uh, you can see it currently has stuff in it from my mother's fish. My mother's fish was moved into a different tank. So I'm going to clean this out, clean out the gravel, wash it with some salt water, and, um, and set it up for him. I have all the supplies here. Uh, I built and I didn't have the heater, so I bought another. Uh, this is actually for a five gallon tank, so I'll probably put this like half on that tank so it doesn't overheat. You'll see the two and a half gallon is much smaller than the ten gallon that my other crabs are in, but this crab needs to be isolated and de stressed, so we will do that. Okay. So here's the two and a half gallon washed out sideways. Put all the gravel in here, I'll put it away later. And I'm going to rinse it now with salt water which is literally just water with um, the dechlorinator fluid, which you can buy in any pet store, and sea salt added to it. And salt water is a natural kind of a cleanser, so there's no chemicals, it's not going to hurt the hermit crabs. The tank has been cleaned with salt water. I'm letting it dry thoroughly. Uh, when the water dries, the chlorine evaporates. Um, there wasn't any chlorine in the salt water, but from the sink there might have been chlorine. So I'm letting it totally dry so it can be safe. You see a couple of things here. We have uh, the heater. He's going to have sand, some puka shell. They love puka shell. I'm not sure which one of these things I want to put in there. Um, I don't know if he could fit under this. So I'll probably give him this and he can climb and hide in it. And his coral is good too. These are all things that have just been cleaned with salt water so they're safe. Um, that's coconut fiber substrate which will make up most of the tank. Uh, while I wait for that to dry, I'm actually going to give him a bath in stress coat. So I gotta get a couple of things together to do that, and then we'll help him. Maybe he'll come out of his shell. I hope so. A stress coat bath can be really beneficial. This is stress coat. 
it's used in fish tanks actually for uh, helping fish be like more healthy like it has aloe vera in it and stuff and it helps their slime coat it keeps them from getting ick or it cures ick if they have it uh, for hermit crabs you can bathe them in it just one drop because it's a very little amount of water one single drop that's all you need I've had this bottle for a year you're never gonna run out one drop and fresh water so this is fresh there's no salt in it you just put a little bit in there now with a normal hermit crab when you put them in water or touch them with water they come they come out of their shell this hermit crabs you know stress and things so we're gonna see if we can get him to come out with a little bit of water And this water's lukewarm. It's not cold, it's not hot. It's a nice lukewarm temperature. And so you see, you just you put them in, and it's a very little amount of water. It has to be very gentle. Don't swish them around. Don't be crazy about it. Just a little bit. Normally, the crab would come out and walk around and they'd get in on their limbs and stuff. After the stress coat bath, you have to let them let the crab like run around like a dry container and dry off because the stress coat it's it's good for bathing them, but you can't they can't have it in their drinking water. They can't have it constantly. It just replaces their slime coat and makes them healthier. I've been using stress coat on my main hermit crabs, my six main ones, uh, for probably about a year now. And they've all molted with me. They get a stress coat bath once a week. They molt. They're very healthy. They're very colorful. So I think that... Right, well, our little buddy did not come out during the bath. But I set up everything for him in here. He's in that shell back there. He's that one. So as you can see, uh, this is a two and a half gallon. It's rather small, but it's good for an isolation tank for just one crab. It's good. And it's glass, so it will retain the heat. We have the heating pad on the back. It should start heating up soon. The middle dish is fresh water. The bottom, the sand, the puka shell, and the substrate is soaked with salt water, so he has access to both. He has, well, walnut, some coconut, and uh, freeze-dried krill, along with a few spare shells from my main hermit crabs they lend it to him so I'm pretty much gonna leave him alone and try to keep an eye on him and see if he moves see if he comes and disturbs the food at all uh, hopefully he'll start eating and um, I feel like he gets it to be a little bit more friendly but that's pretty much it so that was a successful retrieval of a hermit crab we'll see what happens